What's up, everybody? We're about to do the lesson on 4.2, writing equations in slope-intercept form, um, given certain information of the line, okay? So we should already be comfortable with slope-intercept form. Why is it called slope-intercept form? Because when it's in this form, when it's organized like this, you could clearly see the slope and the y-intercept. Once again, the slope is the m value, the number in front of x, the B value is the Y intercept, the location of where your line crosses the Y axis. And today, uh, we're not really gonna be graphing, we're gonna be taking information of a line and we're gonna be able to write the equation in slope intercept form. Let's begin with this most important fact. To write an equation in slope intercept form, Y equals MX plus B, you need two things. What are those two things? You need the M and the B, all right? Um, so if you know the M and you know the B, you'll be able to write your equation in Y equals MX plus B form. So the easiest situation is when they give you the M and when they give you the B. Uh, for example, um, let's say, let's say they ask you, write the equation of a line that passes through the Y axis at four and has a slope of three. So once again, if they give you the M and the B, it's ridiculously easy to write in Y equals MX plus B form. So what are they giving you here? They tell you that it crosses, it passes through the Y axis at four. That's telling you that your B value is four. Okay, that's what they're telling you. Um, and in addition to that, they tell you that it has a slope of three. So they're telling you that it has the M value equal to three. Now we know that if they give you the M and the B, in y equals mx plus b form, y equals mx plus b, if they give you the m and the b, you just plug it in and you're done. So what's your equation? It's y equals 3x plus b, which in this case is plus four. Okay, so here's our slope intercept form equation of this information given to us, all right, of the line. Okay, so this is the easiest situation where they give you the M, they give you the B, all you do is take the M, take the B, and plug it right in to there, right? Take the M, plug it in, take the B, and plug it in, and you're good to go. Anyway, so that's the absolute easiest situation. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. Um, and this one is just as easy. They give you the graph of a line, okay? So once again, the easiest situation uh, to write your equation in y equals mx plus b is when they give you the m and they give you the b. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, they don't give us any of that, they give us the actual graph. Yeah, but when you look at the graph, it's really easy to state the slope, right? For the slope, remember it's rise over run, so you're gonna have a fraction for m. Now, how do we look at lines? We look at lines the way we read sentences. You gotta look at two points, and they give you this point right here and that point down there. Now, you don't have to use the points that they give you. You could have used, uh, let's say, uh, th this beginning point and maybe this one down here. Either way, it's going to reduce down to the same slope. So you look at lines from left to right. So from this dot to this dot, what are you doing? Uh, are you going up or are you going down from this dot to that dot? Well, you're going down. How many units do you go down? You go down one, two. So that's technically a negative rise. That's negative two. And you do, after going down to go over one, so the run is one. Okay, this is something that we should already be comfortable with from the previous lesson. So it's safe to say that your m equals negative two. You don't even have to put it as a fraction. You could just say that the slope is negative two. So we have the slope. Now all we need is the b value. We have the m. All we need is the b. And what is the b? The b is the y-intercept. So where does our line cross the y-axis. Does it cross at zero? No. Does it cross at one? No. Does it cross at two? No. Does it cross at three? Yes. This line has the y-intercept of three. Okay. So that b value is three. And now that you know your m and your b, now you could write your equation in y equals mx plus b form. So just put in those two values. y equals the m value is negative two. And of course, there's always an x right after the m. And then plus b, that would be a plus three in this case, plus three. So there's your slope intercept form equation. And this is another example of the easiest type of questions on this section. Why? Because they give you the M and they give you the B. I mean, you, you gotta count like, oh, the slope is down two over one, so the slope is negative two over one. 
Um, so slope is negative two, the B value is three. So they give you the M, they give you the B, all you gotta do is look at it and understand what the M is, what the B is, and then write it in slope intercept form. Once again, in order to write an equation in slope intercept form, you need two things. Those two things are the M and the B, and you could find the M and the B just by looking at the graph. Let's move on to a little more uh, fun type of question. So again, we're sticking with the same fact that to write an equation in y equals mx plus b form, you need two things. You need the m and the b. We already know that. Um, let's write the equation of the line that passes through the point negative 5, 4 and has a slope negative 4. Okay, if you're falling asleep, wake up. This is the meat and potatoes of today's lesson, all right? You see, in math, you always take the information they give you to find out the information that you don't know. Okay, so we got to ask ourselves, um, we want to write an equation, and what kind of equation do we want to write it in, in slope-intercept form? So let's write out what we want. We want y equals mx plus b. And do we have the m, and do we have the b? Remember, if we have the m, and we have the b, we just plug the m right there, and the b right there, and we're done. But do they give us an m value? And the answer is yes, they do give us the m value is negative four. It says right there, slope is negative four. So at the very least, I know that my slope is negative four. I have half of what I need. Now, I still need this b value, but they don't tell us the y-intercept. It doesn't say the line passes through the y-axis at a certain value. It says that the line passes through a certain point, right? So this is a little different. So what are they giving us here? They're actually giving us a point and a slope. And we don't need a point and a slope. We actually need a slope and a B value, a Y intercept, but they don't give us the Y intercept. But we do know that we need to write it in this form, okay? So what do they give us? They give us a coordinate. And what is a coordinate? We all know that a coordinate is really an X value and a Y value. Now, if there were two points, I would label this one 1, 1 and the other one 2, 2. But there are no other points. They just give you this single coordinate, this single point. And I labeled the negative 5x, I labeled the 4y. Now, what does this allow us to do? It allows us to plug in the slope value of negative 4 into the m. And then it allows us to plug in the x value of negative 5 right here where the x is at. And then it allows us to plug in the y value of 4 over here where the y is at. So if I plug in every, every bit of information they give us, I'll be able to find out what I don't know. Again, we're using what they give us. We're going to plug it in and find out what I don't know, which is the B value. I would love the B value because once I have the M and the B, again, to write your equation in Y equals MX plus B, you need two things, the M and the B. We have the M, we need the B, but they didn't give us the B. They gave us an X and a Y. Plug in those values and we'll be able to solve for B. So instead of Y, I'm going to write 4. Okay, so I have a 4 equals... Instead of m, I'm going to write negative 4. So I'm going to have a negative 4 right there. And notice that this says mx. Now that really means m times x. So it's either you put a multiplication dot here or parentheses when you plug in your x value. I'm going to use parentheses. I'm going to plug in the x value of negative 5 right in there. So that's going to be a negative 5 right in there. Okay. And then we have the plus b at the very end. Okay. So by us plugging in the x right here, the y right here, and the slope right there, I'll have a bunch of numbers in my equation with a single variable b, which means I could solve for b. How do we solve equations? All you got to do is simplify it first, do any math possible, and we could clearly see that negative 4 times negative 5 is 20. That's simple. Bring down the plus, bring down the equals, the, uh, the b, the 4. There's your new simplified equation. You want to get b by itself. B is on the right side of the equal sign. There's a 20 there. We don't want that 20, so let's get rid of that 20 by subtracting 20. What you do to one side, you must do to the other to maintain the equality of this equation. So what do we have left? We have a negative 16 equals B. So now we could say over here that B equals negative 16. And now we really know the M and the B, and now we're ready to plug in the M right there and the B right there and write our equation in slope-intercept form. Once again, to write an equation in slope-intercept form, you need two things, the M and the B. We now have those two things, so let's write the equation. Y equals, instead of M, I'm going to put the negative 4, and of course we have the X, and then we have the plus 
b plus b, and b in this case is negative 16. We just found that out by plugging in the y, the m, the x, and we solved for b. So there's your equation. The only other thing you could do to make this look a little nicer is to uh, simplify the plus minus, just make that a minus. So y equals negative 4x minus 16. There's your slope intercept form equation. So let's try another one of these where I don't give you the information m and b, where maybe I just give you the m or I just give you the b. Um, here we go. Let's move this out of the way. Let's bring this over here. Write the equation of the line that passes through the following point, 3, 0, and has the slope 5. Okay, so they give us a point, which is an x value and a y value, and they give us a slope, which in this case the m value is 5. Now, what are the two things that we need? It says up here to write an equation, y equals mx plus b form, you need two things, the m and the b. So if you have the m and if you have the b, you could write your equation in y equals mx plus b form. Do they give us the m? Yes, they do. They tell us that the slope is 5. That's half of what we need. Um, they give us a point, right? They don't give us the b value, but they do give us a coordinate. So at the very least, we could take the y equals mx plus b equation, and we could plug in the x value of 3. We could plug that in right here, wherever the x is at. We could take the y value of 0 and plug it in right there where the y is at. And we could also take the m value of 5 and plug it in right here where the m is at. So let's plug in those three values. Instead of y, I'm going to write 0 equals, instead of m, I'm going to write 5, and then I'm going to put times x. You could put the multiplication dot, um, or you could put parentheses, or you could do both like I just did. And the x value is 3. And of course, we still have the plus b because we don't know b. Again, they gave us these three values, x, y, and m. We plugged it in, x, y, and m. We're going to solve for b right now. How do you solve an equation? By making it simple. First, do any math possible. And we do have a 5 times 3 right here giving us 15. So we have 15 equals 0 plus b. Now, you want b by itself on the right side of the equal sign. You don't want this 15 right there in front of the b. So let's get rid of the 15 by subtracting 15 and subtracting 15. And we should all know that 0 take away 15 is negative 15. Bring down the equal sign, bring down the b. There's your answer. b equals negative 15. So b equals negative 15. Now we have our m value. Now we have our b value. And now we're ready to plug it into y equals mx plus b. How about this? Let me cut out that y equals mx plus b. Now let me rewrite it down here. And all I have to do is plug in the m value. So I have y equals, instead of m, I'm going to put a 5 with an x. And then plus b, instead of b, I'm going to put negative 15. Again, m was 5. That's why I put in 5 right there. b was negative 15. Put negative 15 right there. And the only other thing you could do to make this look nicer is y equals 5x. Change that plus minus into just the minus. 15. Y equals 5x minus 15. Let's move on. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, man, that was fun. I don't think it could get much more fun than that. But the truth is, it does. Check this equation, or check this problem out. It says, write the equation of the line that passes through the following points. Now, keep in mind that single fact we've been repeating over and over all uh, lesson long here. To write an equation in y equals mx plus b form, you need two things. What are those two things? The m and the b. You need a number here and a number there to write your equation that looks like this in y equals mx plus b. So as long as we have the m uh, and as long as we have the b, we're good to go. We could write the equation. Do they give us the m? Do they say that the slope is 5 or the slope is negative 2? No, they don't. Do they give us the b value, do they say uh, your line passes through the y-axis at 5 or at 4? No, they don't. So they don't give you the slope. They don't give you the y-intercept. What the heck? They don't give you anything. Well, actually, they do give you something. What do they give you? They give you two points. They give you one point, two points. So it says write the equation of the line that passes through the following points. So they give you one point, another point that's really one x value and one y value another x value and another y value. And how do we know the difference between x's and y's? Well, we're going to call this x value from the first point, this y value from the first point, this x value is from the second point, and that y value is from the second point. 
So we should remember that when you only when you only have two points, the only thing you could do is find slope using the slope formula. And the slope formula, I hope you remember, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And I hope you notice that I started my formula by writing m equals the division bar and then subtractions, right? That's on purpose. That way you could plug in the y value of 5, right? For, for y2, you plug in right there. And in this case, y2 is 5. Plug in the, the 5 right there. So the y2 value is 5. The y1 value is negative 1. The x2 value is 3. And the x1 value is 1. Where did I get those from? From right here. y2 is 5. Uh, y1 is negative 1. Uh, x2 is 3. And x1 is 1. Okay. So the reason why I start with the division and the subtractions is for this situation. Anytime you have a minus minus right next to each other, it has to change the plus plus. So my slope, my slope is 6 over 2, which is really 3. So I just found my slope, but I still need my y-intercept. So let me make some space here by moving this. So how am I going to find my y-intercept, my b-value? Well, it's like before where you had a slope and you had some points. You had x's and y's. So pick one of them. You could either use this one or that one, but pick one of them, right? Um, I'm going to use this first one, x1, y1. I mean, if you wanted to, you could use the second one. It's totally up to you. You know what? Let's go with the second one better. It doesn't really matter. So I want to write my equation in y equals mx plus b form. And I'm going to use this x2 value to plug in right there into my x, this y2 value to plug in right there where my y is at. And I'm going to take this m value of 3 that we just found out and plug it right in there. So instead of y, I am going to have a 5 equals. Instead of m, I'm going to have a 3. Instead of x, I'm going to put times x. As you could see, the x is 3, so put a 3 right there. So I am going to put a 3 right there. Now you could use parentheses or the multiplication dot or both. And we still have the plus b. Okay. So we plug in what we know to find out what we don't know. We have a 3 times 3. That's 9. 9 plus b equals 5. Solve. Get uh, b by itself. Subtract 9. Subtract 9. You'll have negative 4 equals b. So we just found that the b value is negative 4. And now we know our m value being 3 and our b value being negative 4. And now we could actually write it y equals mx, that's 3x, plus b, plus negative 4. And of course, to make it look nice, change that plus minus to a regular minus. y equals 3x minus 4. There's your y equals mx plus b uh, equation of the line that passes through those two points. If you were to graph this on an xy plane, crossing the y-axis at negative 4 and rising 3, running 1, it will pass through the coordinate 1, negative 1, and 3, 5. I know what you're thinking. Man, this is super fun. That's right, super fun, right? Um, so since it's so fun, let's try another. Write the equation of the line that passes through the following points. Again, what do you need to write an equation? You need an m value and you need a b value, okay? What's the only thing you could do with two points? Well, with two points, uh, an x and a y, an x and a y, your first point, your second point. The only thing you could do with two coordinates is find the slope using the slope formula, which is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And once again, when you use the slope formula, I hope that you write the division bar first and the subtractions and then plug in your y2 value of negative 2 in the upper left right here. That's negative 2 right there. Uh, we have the uh, y1 value of 6 that goes in the upper right, right there, 6. And then we have the x2 value, bottom left. x2 is 3. Put it on the bottom left. Bottom left, that's a 3. And last but not least, the x1, which is a negative 1. Put that negative 1 right there, negative 1. And of course, whenever you have a minus minus right next to each other, not, not these two. These, these two are not next to each other. These two are right next to each other. These two have to change the plus plus. So we change that to plus plus. So what is our slope? It's really up on top, a negative 2 minus 6. That is negative 8. 
and on the bottom we have a 3 plus 1, that's a 4. So the slope is negative 8 over 4, going down 8 over 4. Or better said, might as well do negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. So there's your m value. We found that m is negative 2, and now we need to find what b is. Once we have m and b, then we could write it in y equals mx plus b form. Anyway, how are we going to do that? Well, we know we're going to use y equals mx plus b because we want to write an equation. And we have the m value of negative 2 that we're going to plug in right here. The y value, let's use the first point this time. Plug in your y value of 6 right there. Plug in your x value of negative 1 right there. And plug in your m value of negative 2 right there. Okay. So let's plug in everything. Instead of y, I'm going to have a 6. The equal sign's right there. Instead of m, I'm going to put negative 2. Instead of x, I'm going to put uh, times parenthesis, and the x value is negative 1. And the plus b, we don't know. We're actually going to solve for that. So how do we solve an equation? Um, we need to simplify it first. What is negative 2 times 1? Negative 2 times 1 is positive 2. So we have 2 plus b equals 6. We almost have b by itself. All we need to do is get rid of this 2. How do I get rid of the 2? By subtracting 2 and subtracting 2. So 4 equals b. b equals 4. Okay, so now that we know the m and the b, now we could write it in y equals mx plus b form. So let's do that. We're going to say y equals, what is m? It's negative 2. Put the x right next to the m and plus the b value, plus the b value of 4. So here's our equation, y equals negative 2x plus 4. Those are the super fun questions, guys. So in summary, there are three types of questions on today's assignment. There's the, the easy ones. Write the equation given the m and the b. Just plug them in, you're done. There's the fun type of questions where you write the equation when they give you a point and a slope. They give you an x and a y value and an m value and then you plug it all in to solve for b, and then you have your m and your b. And then you got those later ones, the last two ones that we just did, the super fun ones. Write the equation given two points, and the only thing you could do with two points is to find the slope, and then once you have the slope, you could use one of those points to plug it all in to find b, and then you could write your y equals mx plus b equation. No matter what type of question, you, s you start with this fact. To write an equation in slope-intercept form, you need two things. You need the M and the B. If you start with this question right here, or not this question, but this fact that in order to write an equation in Y equals MX plus B, you need the M and you need the B, and you write down, you could write this down, write down M equals, B equals, and everything should fall into place from there. So here's a worksheet, and you have the rest of the class to work on this worksheet. Um, so one, two, and three are super easy. Like they really want you to, look what they give you they give you an m and they give you a point right so this is ridiculous guys but what they would like you to practice on this section believe it or not what they would like you to practice on this section is for you to write down y equals mx plus b and they want you to use the x and the y so they want you to say that oh the y is going to be 2 um, equals the m, they give you the m, they tell you that you rise 2, you run 1. Um, so they give you the m being 2, and they want you to multiply that by x, and we said that x was negative 1. So they want you to do that, which is totally a waste of time, and I'll tell you why it's a waste of time in a little while. When you do this math, uh, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, negative 2 plus b equals 2. And of course, let's solve for b by getting rid of the minus 2, add 2, add 2 you have 4 equals b, okay? So we found b, okay? So we now know that the m is 2 and the b is 4. So once you know that the m is 2 and the b is 4, you could write your equation in y equals mx plus b, which is y equals 2x plus 4. But that was a waste of time. Why a waste of time? Because they give you the m they tell you it's there and even if they didn't give you m you could say well from here to here what do i do you rise two you run one 
so that you know that your slope is 2 over 1. So you already know the m. And the line is visual to you. You could see that it crosses the y-axis right here. And what is that location? That's the location of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So you, just by looking at it, you know the m, you know the b, write your equation and y equals mx plus b, and you'll get y equals 2x plus 4. Nice and easy. Um, now, of course, you have these other types of questions, the ones that were uh, fun, not super fun, but fun, right? They give you an x value, a y value, and an m value. And of course, always start with the fact that you need an m, you need a b. So once you have the m and the b, you could write your equation. What do they give us here? They give us an m and they give us a coordinate. So y equals mx plus b. We're going to use this x value of 2. We're going to put it right here on that x value. We're going to use the y value of negative 2. We're going to put it right here on this y value. And of course, they give us the slope is 3. Slope is 3. We're going to plug that in right there where the m is at. So I really have the y value of negative 2 equaling the slope, which is 3, times x times, what is x? x is positive 2 plus b plus b. So let's do the math here. Let's simplify. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus b equals negative 2. We need to get the b by itself, get rid of the 6. How do I get rid of the 6? By subtracting 6. What I do to one side, I do to the other. I will have negative 8 equals b, which means b equals negative 8. And that's half of what we need. The other half they gave to us, slope is negative 3. The m, or slope is positive 3, I'm sorry. So now we could write our equation y equals mx plus b. y equals 3x minus 8. There's our answer to number 6. And of course, we have the super fun type of equations where I give you just two points. Okay, So I want to work through this one uh, with, I want to try to write small so I could fit everything on one page. Uh, what's the only thing that we could do with two points? That would be the slope formula. And in order for us to use the slope formula, we need to label the coordinates and also know how to use the formula. Put the division first, then the subtractions. Plug in your y2, your y1, your x2, your x1, and then do the math, right? Up on top, we have negative 1 take away 4, that's negative 5. On the bottom, we have 6 take away 1, which is positive 5. So we know that the slope is really m equals negative 1. So we have half of what we need. Again, you need an m and you also need a b to write your equation in slope-intercept form. So far, we have the m, which is negative 1, and now let's find the b. How do we do that? Well, if you're using y equals mx plus b, you simply take a y value, the m value you just found, and the x value, take an x value, plug it all in, and then you could solve for b. So again, I always like to use the first point. You could use any point you want. I am going to use this y value of 4 and put it right there. I have the equal sign. I'm going to use the m value of negative 1 and put it right here. It's a negative 1. And then it's times x, times x, which I'm going to put in parentheses, and the x value is 1, so I put the x value right there. And of course, we still have the plus b. So let's do the simplification first, the math first, like negative 1 times 1, that is negative 1. We bring down the plus b, bring down the equal sign, bring down the 4. Here's an equation that we could all solve. All we need to do is get rid of this minus 1. We get rid of the minus 1 by doing the opposite, plus 1 and plus 1. We end up with 5 equals b. So we know that b equals 5. So we, we know that m is negative 1 and b equals 5. We could now write the equation y equals mx plus b. And this is it, guys. y equals negative 1x plus 5. That's the most fun, super fun type of equation on this entire worksheet. I've taken up way too much of your time. Please complete the rest of this worksheet. I want you to do all of it, right? 1 through 18. I want you to do all of it, okay? And if you do get stuck on some of these other questions, you could rewind this video. Um, the, other, the questions we did earlier are actually from this worksheet. And there's also another video posted on Google Classroom 
that should explain every single one of these. Good luck.